We begin at the nation's top office. President Pakana is back at work after a week-long vacation. And speaking at a cabinet meeting this morning, the president laid out her thoughts on a range of current issues, including ways to boost the economy and the THAAD deployment. Song ji has the details. The president marked her return from her holiday by encouraging Koreans to vacation in the country just as she did last week. President Park noted that the Korean economy is showing signs of recovery, growing 3.2 percent in the second quarter from last year, close to its potential growth rate. Putting emphasis on her drives to revive the economy and boost domestic demand, the president called on lawmakers to move forward with the government's fiscal stimulus proposal, saying a delay will not create jobs in a timely manner when a massive number of layoffs is in the forecast following the government's corporate restructuring drive. 이번 추경 예산이 통과가 되면 6만 8천 개의 일자리를 창출할 수가 있는데 추경 처리가 늦어져서 효과가 바로 나타나지 않는다면 실직 위험에 직면한 근로자들의 불안이 커질 수밖에 없습니다. President also voiced her support for the anti-graft law ruled constitutional last week. But with growing concern that the act could have the effect of shrinking domestic demand, she asked her cabinet to create follow-up measures to cushion the impact. The new law limits the value of gifts that politicians, journalists, teachers and their spouses can receive with meals capped at 27 U.S. dollars each. 법 시행에 따라 우리 사회의 투명성과 공정성이 제고되면 우리 경제의 효율성이 높아지고 성장 잠재력도 개선될 수 있는 만큼 이러한 긍정적 효과가 하루속히 극대화될 수 있도록 정부는 물론 기업, 교육계, 언론계 모두가 함께 노력해야 하겠습니다. President Park also touched on the chosen location for the missile defense system THAAD. She stressed that Seoul and Washington's decision to deploy THAAD in Songju, Gyeongsangbuk-do province, is aimed at protecting the public against North Korea's rising nuclear and missile threats and called for national unity on security issues. President Park vowed to sit down with Songju governor and local lawmakers to hear their opinions on the matter while also pledging to continue her field visits to assess how weather policies are working to boost local economies. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.